Steeding on the moon I got no cobweb on my shoe Standing on the moon And I'm feeling so lone and blue Joining me today on the Culture Catch, we're very honored uh, to have Bob Weir here at his place, yeah. which is, you know, for, for many people, this would be like crossing into the Holy Land. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't much, but it's home. <laughs> but, you know, it's comfy, and that's, that's, yeah. that's important. And, you know, it feels like a musician lives here, an artist lives here. Well, that's kind of what's up. Yeah. So you've had a, an interesting journey. Is, is there anything that you look back on in your musical career, not your personal life, but in your musical career, saying, gee, if there was one thing we could have righted in the ship, maybe we should have done this? You know, I, I think about that every now and again, and something different comes up all the, all the time. Right now, I, you know, I wish I had uh, taken the time, and I still should take the time to, uh, to learn the, uh, the, the standard jazz chord substitutions. Um, that's something I've, I've got to get down and and not have it too heavily influence what I do because then, then it is sound like that. Um, aside from that, you know, we just we found direction from uh, in the moment, from the moment, and um, I think that's how it's best done. Um, you, you find your inspiration where where it comes when it comes, you know. This, the sky opens and something comes through. You just have to be open and ready for it. And that's what, what we've always done. And like I say, I think that's how it's best done. Right. Good answer. You, you mentioned something that I think uh, oftentimes when people talk about the great guitarists of the world, your name isn't always on that list. Although people who know your style, other musicians say, wow, your, your voicings are jazz like, you know, your chord structure. I've tried to crib some of it and I can't, you know, and then you get the the cheat sheets off the internet and they are, the voicings aren't the same. I mean, you've got a really unique style. How did you develop it? I listened to pi piano players when I was, uh, when I, I guess, developing my style. I had no idea I was doing that, no intent as such, but uh, but I was always, I was smitten uh, early on, like when I was 17, by uh, McCoy Tyner, and uh, most particularly McCoy Tyner, and uh, I loved the uh, the tension and contrast and stuff like that that he he was able to create and uh, it gave Coltrane or whoever he was playing with a, a, a you know all the options possible you know you can go anywhere with this uh, you know melodically and uh, and that's always been my you know my passion really is to to try to come up with that kind of stuff you know, just a matter of tone. Super Hero. Big Boss 